Hey everybody, this is Andy with Patterson Adjuster Training. In this video, we're going to talk about dumb things rookies do. One of the worst things you can do whenever you're doing a sketch on a house is to get the sketch wrong. Because what happens is you do the sketch, you give it to the policy holder, they give it to their contractor, then they start looking at the footprint of the sketch versus the footprint of their house and nothing matches. You instantly lose credibility, then they think, okay, well, if you got the sketch wrong, what else did they get wrong? I recently went out on a inspection to basically fix an estimate. This sketch was way, way off. I'm not even sure where the measurements or the footprint came from, and that's bad enough, but what made it worse is this was a fourth inspection. First adjuster went out, did the sketch, did some line items. The insured complains, hey, the sketch isn't right. They didn't include everything. Second adjuster goes out, doesn't correct the sketch, adds a few line items. Insured complains again. Third adjuster goes out, doesn't correct the sketch, adds a few more line items. Then the insured pretty much loses it, and then they send me out, and I get to fix the sketch. Now, the good thing about these types of inspections are you're not really worried about speed. You're worried about getting things right. So I'm not going to go into the line items that we used. I'm going to just concentrate on the sketch. So I'm going to show you the original sketch, and then I'll show you my sketch, and then we'll jump into Xactimate just to see if we can figure out where these measurements came from. This is the original sketch. One thing I wanted to draw your attention to immediately is none of these rooms are connected. That's the first clue to the contractor and the policyholder that this person doesn't know what they're doing or they don't care. But in this case, I believe that they just didn't know what they were doing. So here's the kitchen, here's the bath, here's uh, what they're calling kids room. This is master bedroom, and this is a living room. And obviously they graphically estimated some sort of flooring. So let's take a look at my sketch. So this is my sketch, uh, a little bit different. All of the rooms are connected. In the sketch we just looked at, we had two bedrooms, a bathroom, a living room, and a kitchen. All of those rooms, in reality, are connected. Now the things they left out was a bedroom closet, HVAC closet, a linen closet, and a water heater closet. Even though I don't have pictures of everything, I'm gonna kinda go through a video so you can kind of see the footprint. So here we're looking at the living room, and this is gonna pan around, looking back towards the kitchen. And so right here is the HVAC closet. Here's the linen closet. Here's a little, what I call a sitting area, but it's part of the living room. There's those French doors. Back here's the kitchen. In here is what they were calling the kid's bedroom. Here's the bathroom. And around this corner to the left, is the master bedroom. Now the master didn't actually have a closet and they actually had a TV in here so this technically wasn't a closet. And there's the bathroom. Here's the second bedroom. The original sketch called it kids bedroom. And then there's a kitchen here. So that'll kind of give you a footprint of the house. So now let's jump into Xactimate and see if we can make these sketches fit with each other. So here's the sketches side by side. So you have the original sketch, which three adjusters went out and gave their stamp of approval on this sketch. You could say, well, the first adjuster messed up the sketch, the other two didn't. 
they didn't approve that sketch. Well, if you go out there as an adjuster and you see something wrong and you don't fix it, then you're just as wrong as the first person. And it's not right to the policyholder because we need to pay what we owe. This claim was under scope by tens of thousands of dollars just because the first three adjusters didn't care or didn't have the experience to know what they were doing. I know what happened on the first person. They probably got out there. This was their first storm and they got overwhelmed. They didn't know what they were doing and they panicked, which it's not right, but I understand that. But the second two adjusters had some experience. The firm that sent them out there said that they were good adjusters. Well, why didn't they correct the sketch? I think I know what happened. I think they got out there and they looked at the damage and thought, oh, great. We didn't allow for this. We don't have time to resketch this thing. So they just threw some line items on there and moved on. Let's get, jump back into Xactimate and see if we can figure this out. So I'm treating this like a puzzle. I'm trying to get these pieces to fit. And as you can see, the master bedroom has this offset on it. In reality, the master bedroom is here. It doesn't technically have a closet. It just has these two walls that stick out. And this is like a TV area. So I'm not really sure why they have this closet on here. Because in reality, this back wall of the, the master bedroom is a shared wall with the living room. Quick question, how are you supposed to get into the bathroom or the main bedroom? It's like, what do you mean? Well, there's, there's no door to the bath, no door to the main bedroom. I think that would be important because you have trim, you have casing, you have the square footage of those doors. Now the carrier guidelines may not subtract that out, but you will have to replace some doors. You will have to replace trim, paint the trim. Uh, there's no windows anywhere on this sketch. And so here's the kitchen. This is, I don't, I don't get it. So you have this kitchen here. How can the kitchen actually look like this but be sketched like this. I don't understand. This is not even close to what it looks like. Now, this main rectangle is fine, but they have this offset here, this offset here. In reality, they just have, the only thing that's in this kitchen dining area is just this inset water heater closet. And then if you come out of the kitchen, you're going right into this sitting area here, which is part of the living room. Well, they don't have that. They only have a door connecting the living room and the kitchen. And they don't have the HVAC or the linen closet on here. They don't have the kids' room closet. So let this be a lesson to you. When you go out and sketch something, take the time to sketch it properly. If you don't know that you can do that, you need to start practicing now. Because it's not right for you to go out to somebody's house and screw things up and then that triggers a chain of events. Because you have the insured who, in this case, from the first inspection to the fourth inspection, waited four weeks. That, that pushed their repairs off four weeks. It increased their blood pressure. It increased their distrust with the insurance company. The first adjuster got sent home. The carrier spent all this extra money on rework. And I know a lot of people are saying, I don't care about the carrier. Well, I do, just because the more money that they have to spend, they pass that expense on to policyholders, and insurance is already high enough. So the more efficient the insurance carriers can be, the cheaper our premiums are going to be. But the person it really hurts is the policyholder, because we have an obligation to go out there and address all related damage. The insurance company wants you to write an estimate. Don't overpay, but don't underpay either. And that's why it's so critical to get that sketch right. Because guess what? The first person screwed the sketch up and then put some line items on the estimate. Well, those line items are based upon the measurements on their sketch. Well, the other two people that went out there did the same thing. They didn't correct the sketch. They threw some line items on there. Well, well guys, you're estimate isn't going to be right because your sketch isn't right. Just because you're throwing more items on the estimate doesn't correct it because the sketch is wrong. Until you fix the sketch, 
you can't fix the estimate. So I hope you guys take the time you need to practice sketching because it's super important. I know that there's AI coming where we can scan a room with our phones and the computer automatically drops the sketch in. Well, in this case, what happens if there's no drywall on the walls? Let's say it's just stud walls. Will a computer still be able to sketch that? I don't know, but it doesn't absolve us from our responsibility to know the estimating software and write accurate estimates. Anyway, guys, I hope that video helps. I will see you in the next one.